Hi, Shoshana. Thank you so much for supporting what I do and for trusting me to read and connect to your higher self, your twin flame energy. So, let's begin. Um, well, first I'm going to start with your numerology, which I found to be absolutely amazing and fascinating because you are the 369. I'm not sure if you knew your numerology. I think you probably already did know it, but um, your life path is number nine. Your soul is six and your personality is three. 369. And your birthday is three, so you have 33, the master number of enlightenment. And your attitude is four, which is the teacher number. Um, that always tells me, you know, that you are the master teacher. You are here to teach. You are here to um, show others. You're the way shower, the leader, I would say. And, you know, leaders, they don't lead by force. I always say this. They, they lead by inspiring others to follow. So, your life path was number nine. Uh, it's also number, depending on how you calculate it, it's also number 27. So your life path is peace, love, harmony, the mediator, the peacemakers. Um, number seven is spirituality, the truth seekers, uh, faith, having faith, not only in yourself, but in others. So I'm seeing um, your life path has to do with the nine, which is the humanitarian. So bringing peace and spirituality to the world, helping others guide them through their journey. Then we've got the soul number, which is six, which is the nurturer. Um, it's all about balance. It is also the lover. So it's a very loving number. Uh, you've got the two is also love, the love number. So we've got, you've got 27, you've got 24, you've got 21, you've got 22. A lot of love in you. You are love. And four is about building a solid foundation for the future, but it's also the teacher number. So, you know, what was Jesus? What was Buddha? Um, Krishna? They were all uh, teachers who taught love. So you are in that realm. So your personality, once again, uh, it's, it's the three, but it's the 12. So it's 48, 12, three. So the root is 48. That's where it, that's where it comes from, the origin, which is, you know, we just talked about the teacher. It's very disciplined. Um, and the eight is all about money and it's abundance. So teaching others is going to bring in that abundance, communicating. You're a great communicator. I'm almost seeing lecturing or like TED Talks type of stuff. Um, and then you have the birthday, which is three. So it's interesting. Your personality is 12 and your birthday is 21. It's a mirror. 12, 21, 21, 12. Uh, 12, 21 is also the end date of the Mayan calendar, which is interesting because I was guided to use Mayan cards for your reading as well been guided to a lot of Mayan stuff lately. Um, so the three, that's the communicator, that is the creator. So you're very creative. Um, and whatever creative way that is, you can paint, you can draw, you can write, you can sing, you can play music, whatever cre requires creation, you're good at, whether you think so or not. It's an, an eight- it's, it's, it's built into you. Um, the nines also tend to, the life path nine always tend to have a lot of fa problem with family. Um, because they're always trying, they're always like, everybody puts everything on the nine because the nine, they think the nine can handle it. Because the nine is so wise. They want to come to you with all their problems. And it's like you have your own stuff to deal with. So healthy boundaries are key for you. Attitude is number four, but 21 plus one is 22. So once again, you have that, that air, that aura of the master teacher. People want to learn from you. They want to hear what you have to say. We've got two karma numbers. Um, and I always say, like, I just did a video on karma number. Uh, you know, it was the Akashic Records Reiki video that I did. And I talked about karma. And the way that you open your soul star chakra is by releasing karma. And karma is just our lesson. So... When we decide we've learned that lesson, our karma is done. When we have acknowledged that, acknowledging it and releasing it and dissolving it and letting it go, that's how you get rid of your karma. So in your case, four, which is logic, discipline, loyalty. Seven is truth, 
the faith seeker, having faith in yourself and others. I'm seeing, I'm seeing maybe in your karma in the past, you used to lie a lot. Because I'm seeing lies here and secrets. Um, so, but that's, that's the past. This is not who you are now. So, but building solid foundations for the future. So in this life, you are learning to build that solid foundation. You are learning to teach what you know and, and not hoard your information. So I think a lot of people are, are learning that, that the only way to, to grow is to share. And so the seven is also about having faith in yourself, having faith in others, having faith in change. Um, it's the faith seeker. It's also the truth seeker. So not only seeking your own truth, but being able to see the truth in others. Because you lied so much in your past lives, you're able to sniff out when somebody's bullshitting you. So it's actually a, a, a great uh, karma number to have in the sense that you're able to see that in others, like a mirror, mirror thing. Because I'm seeing a lot of mirroring here as well. Your challenge number is the two. And it was only a minor, minor challenge. You didn't have any major challenges, which is amazing and great. I always say that um, once you acknowledge the number, it, it's easy to just jump over it. It's like have like somebody puts a hurdle in your thing, and until you know how to jump over an actual hurdle, like you're running, and and if a turtle, you know, if a, let's say a dog is doing an agility course and he's running, and he see, and you put a barrier there, he just stops. But if you teach him to jump over the hurdle, he jumps over it, and that's no longer a challenge to him anymore. So this is what the challenge and the karma numbers are. They are hurdles that you put in place for yourself, and then it's up to you to learn how to jump over them. And in your case, uh, the mediator, the peacemaker, you know, pe being surrounded by peace, that's what you want. And it's sometimes challenging to find that peace because everybody always wants a piece of you. And I'm also seeing being sensitive. So being sensitive can be a challenge. Being very empathetic where you can't be around a lot of people all the time. That's a challenge. I'm also seeing it as um, being overly sensitive to the opinions of others and what they think. And that stops us from fulfilling our soul. Look at you got the 369 here. Nothing can stop you. You are what Tesla was talking about. Uh, you are the key. So don't care about what other people think about your, your, your life path and, and, and your, your journey. Because this is all about you. You are the key. You are the center of the universe. And everybody says, you're not the center. You're not perfect. Well, actually, you are. You are the center and you are perfect. Okay. And then we got your personal year. So you are in the personal year seven right now. Um, seven is all about going inward. It's no coincidence that you booked a reading this year. This is your year to look at, look at, look inward to, to not only learn about yourself, but to learn, you know, the deeper you go in within, the more you understand the out as within. So as, as within, so without as above, so below, you know, that's how you learn. It's like going down the rabbit hole. And the rabbit hole eventually goes so deep down the rabbit hole. Like if you look at a globe, the rabbit hole goes deep down the rabbit hole. If he continues going into that dark rabbit hole, into the heat and the magma, and it's so much pressure, but eventually he comes out of that hole and he's, on, he's in Australia, right? So he's in China, wherever, wherever, depending on the location. Depending on the location, you know, if you go in and you come out the other end, right? That's the spiritual journey. Um, your Mayan glyph was Ben. If you go on my uh, Instagram, you'll, the healing with numbers, you'll see that my glyph, the card that I pulled yesterday was Ben. And Ben is the Skywalker. He is Luke Skywalker. He is the force. He is, knows how to use the force. He knows how to manifest. It is also the, the 1111 number, which is very interesting because we got 11 here. We got 11 down here. Got a lot of 1111 energy. Okay, so you can go on on there and I actually posted the whole the whole little booklet. I put all the page pages on that post so you can check it out. Okay, so now we're going to go to here. We're going to start with the songs. And initial initially. I did three, 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 but then I was guided. It, it said that there is no. Three, three, three. It's all one. So just like this reading is all one, even though we have masculine feminine and union energy it's all one reading and so the first song that came through was billy ellish uh the song is called eight like the number eight which uh is awesome because we have a lot of eight here 
We've got eight over here. We have eight over here. We have um, eight over here. Over here we have 18 and 81, a mirroring. <coughs> okay, so, and the song says, I don't know how to please you. I wish I knew how to please you. Do, 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 do. You'll, you'll love that song. It's such a beautiful song. Do, 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 do. Um, and this is like almost, you know, talking to you about your twin, but also about yourself. I don't know how to please me. What makes me happy? Uh, what makes me, you know, because it, whatever pleases you is what pleases your twin. So when you learn about you, you learn about your twin because your twin is your other aspect of you. So that was, that was a good song. Number eight. So we know eight is infinity. It's the power number. And oh, down here, we've got, I actually, two cards flew out. And it was power. So uh, the eight has significance here. Um, I'm also seeing, so the song that came through for number two was Ride by 21 Pilots. And it talks, it says, it's, um, it's fun to fantasize. <laughs> you know, who would you live for? Who would you die for? Would you ever kill? Um, I've been thinking too much. And that's, that's saying, I've been thinking too much. I've been thinking too much about this. Um, initially, the song was for the masculine energy. So the masculine thinking too much, that is the logical side of the brain. is thinking, thinking, thinking. So the masculine side is overthinking. So the masculine side of the brain, um, you know, we always say it's the left side and the right side of the brain, but it's also the other person. So that's, they're overthinking. A lot of thinking. Whoever the masculine energy is, whether this is you or them, the masculine energy is thinking a lot. And let's see. And it's fun to fantasize. Because imagine came through as well. And fantasizing is fun because that's how we bring in our reality. Fantasize about things. Envision them. Feel them coming true. Feel them coming into reality. This is the new earth. We manifest things. Okay. And then we got... Um, Number three, Love is Law by Earth, Wind, and Fire. I love that. Earth, Wind, and Fire came through. Uh, love, it moves you. It heals the pain. It's very powerful. So once again, power came through. And love is law. That is the only law that exists, is love. Gratitude, compassion, love. That is the only thing that matters. Everything else is an illusion. Okay, number four was Radiohead. Fake Plastic Trees. I love that song. Um, and the, the lyric that I'm hearing is, it where, okay, so we're starting with the feminine songs, which was four, five, and six, but it's a, un, it's a union song, so. Um, and it says, it wears her out. These f fake plastic trees, the fakeness that we have to endure to be on this earth with other people that are fake, and it wears, it's, it's tiring, it wears us out. And, and that also says, if I could be who you wanted, if I can be, so there's, there's three different songs that talk about, I, if I could just be the person that you wanted, not realizing that you already are the person, you are already that person, you are the one. Um, and it says, she lives with a broken man, so living with broken people in the past that you always had to fix. It's like you were, you were always the person that had to fix other people because that's, you're the humanitarian. That's your heart. Your heart wants to help the world. Your heart wants to help people. Your soul is the nurturer. It wants to nurture people and people take advantage of that. Number five, um, and Radiohead, I'm also seeing it as your, your mind is a receiver, receiving information. Radiohead. Okay, so number five is, you're the one that I want. Oops. Yeah. You're the one that I want by John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John. So I'm seeing John, two John, John, John. Um, and I'm seeing Greece. So not just Greece, the, the movie that it's from, but I'm seeing... The, the place on the globe, Greece. Um, so like Santorini, Santorini, Greece, where there's a lot of cats. So I'm seeing cats, a lot of cats. 
So Santorini has a lot of cats. It's in Greece. And it says, to my heart, I must be true. So you must be true to your heart. It must be true to yourself. Because look, we got the emerald here. We got the two green, green cards here, which is the heart chakra. Be true to yourself. And that's also your karma is to be true. Be true to yourself. Uh, to be authentic and truthful. No manipulation, no lying. It's, it's to finally be in your truth. Um... Then we got, oh, and I, it's, it says, I got chills. They're multiplying. So I'm seeing chills. I'm seeing a lot of chills. So when spirit is around, we get a lot of chills. So the crown chakra starts tingling, our arms chill, fingertips. And it says, meditate in my direction. Feel the way. So like Luke Skywalker, you know, when your third eye allows you to feel your way. If your eyes are closed. Remember the Matrix when Neo has, is blindfolded? And he's, he's just feeling his way and he's able to see with his third eye. That's what this is. So it's saying, I'm seeing meditation is key here. Meditate in their direction. Think about them. Um, number six is, and it started at, at 111, at 111, which is cool. Because look, at, we got 111. So this was a beautiful synchronicity. And it says, it, the song was I Do Love You by GQ. And it says, uh, I do love you. I love you, I love you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, I do, girl. My baby, I love you so. I don't want you to go. Please listen to me. I'm begging you on bended knee. Um, so, I do love you. You do. Oh, I'm not even done. I'm up here putting this thing away. That song just threw me out. Okay, number seven. Uh, Stubborn by Newfound Glory. Um, and I'm trying to think of the lyrics. I never thought that I would get here. Oh, and my ear is ringing. So, something important. I never thought that I would get here. In the past, the pain would blind me. And it's still ringing super loud. In the past, the pain would blind me. And at times, I wished me dead. Now I see more clearly than the morning. To you, I was a monster and you had to save yourself. For only one more night to hold you close to tell you you were right. I'll take all the blame. For only one more night. To see what I was too stubborn to before. And I'll take all the blame. Um, so this is forgiveness. And I'm seeing like suicidal tendencies. So whether you knew somebody who had a lot of suicidal tendencies and always threatened suicide. Um, and it talks about going deep within and nobody can pull you out of this depression. So I don't know if that's just you or somebody else being in this deep depression that you can't be pulled out no matter how many people tried. It's like, this is something that you had to do yourself. You had to pull yourself out. And you were too stubborn to see this before. You know? Or they were too stubborn to see this before. But somebody was too stubborn. It's a great song. The lyrics are great on that song. For only one more night To hold you close To tell you you were right Oh, and I'll take all the blame uh, number eight, Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. If you're lost, you can look and you will find me. Time After Time. So meditate in my direction and you will find me. If you're lost, look for me. I'm there. Uh, the illusion of separation. I am in your heart. I am already there. We are already in union. Envi envision it. Imagine it. Uh, you see this. You see You see. Get bits and pieces I'm seeing. I'm seeing bits and pieces like a puzzle. You, you get like flashes and it seems like it's not real like the flash almost seems like an old memory that you don't remember but it's there that's what i'm seeing here and the next one was northern lights by death cab for cutie so i don't know what northern lights means for you death cab for cutie i'm always thinking of uber or lyft um something about uber and lyft but the northern lights so maybe traveling to the northern lights or seeing the northern lights and this reading started at 1.22 p.m. So, here we go. <coughs> we're done with the songs, and we're going to start with... So, the first card was Shapeshifter for the masculine energy. So, I'm, I immediately I'm seeing the snake, so I'm seeing transformation. I'm seeing rebirth here, so I'm seeing two different rebirths here. What's interesting is, so all your numerology numbers came through. We've got three, three... Um, where 
Your two came through. The seven, the two karma numbers came through. Your nine. So this was very um, synchronistic in the numbers for you. So we've got the wolf. So, you know, the leader of the pack, but also can go solo. Uh, they can do, they can work in a pack or they can work alone. The eagle is the higher perspective. So I'm seeing third eye awakening. I'm seeing the kundalini awakening and the masculine energy. I'm seeing the, being able to see, look at, he's got two different colored eyes, like a husky, like a wolf, right? So he's, and he's got the wings. So he's channeling, he's flying. He's seeing things from a higher perspective. He's, he's being reborn. He's shedding his old skin. I'm hearing that song uh, by Incubus, throw out the map. Um, because you don't need it anymore with this intuition. You, you, it's like your heart is a compass. So I'm going to read a little bit of um, Shapeshifter. Uh, you may have been through many challenges and lows, but now you are in a space of transformation. You are moving beyond your past challenges and honing your current strengths. You are, uh, there are opportunities for you to discover and rediscover the gifts and talents that you were born with and born to share. All of your past experiences have only helped you to see how strong you really are. You are an amazing soul who can change and transform in ways that people least expect. You may you have many talents that will share that you will share in this lifetime. You're guided to stay focused on the light, knowing that it will guide you forward. Tap into the power of your spirit animal. Its medicine is coming to you. So yes, this is you, but this is them as well. Um, you have amazing creative talents. Like I said it before, like the feminine energy. Look at that. All this like art, art, lots of art. The sun is art. Uh, so much art, but also tremendous intuitive abilities. Because look at, we've got Athena, we've got the hippopotamus, which is also about intuition. We've got breathing, which is meditation, you know, rebirth. We've got Sib, which is the owl. We've got Isis. So Athena, you knew, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom. Take appropriate action today without delay. And I'm seeing, um, so I was just talking about the soul star chakra in my video, uh, the, the soul star chakra video that I p posted the other day. So we've got two owls here. Sib, uh, Kib is owl. And here's an owl. So you've got two owls. Um, but I'm seeing moonstone. And I'm seeing the soul star chakra. Uh, because it's this iridescent color to me is the soul star chakra. So I'm seeing the soul star opening up. Remembering past lives. Remembering this past life connection. The past lives in this life. Plus the previous lives. Uh, she's cloaked in green. So I'm seeing this heart chakra opening up. The heart and the soul star, but I'm, uh, the moonstone on the chest is what I'm focusing on here. There's moonstone here. Lots of leaves too. It almost looks like a dome, you know, like on earth, uh, it's like a dome. It's flat, but it's got like this, I'm seeing this dome over it. I'm not saying earth is flat, but in some dimensions, earth is flat and it looks like a dome. Okay. So then we got the hippopotamus. Uh, I love that this card came through because... You know, we've got the rising sun in the back. We've got the, the shell, the Fibonacci shell here, Fibonacci sequence, uh, all, all the water. And this is your numerology. Well, this is one of your numerologies, your soul number uh, numerology, which is the connection with water. Hippopotamus are the water horses. Uh, so I'm seeing the rising sun, which is like uh, Japan. So I'm some Asian stuff here. And the hippopotamus, I'm going to just read a little bit of the hippopotamus. So it's healing waters. Hippos love water and spend much of the time submerged in rivers. Uh, the Greek named river horses. Oh my God. So I was talking about Greece. Something about Greece. Um, being in and around water at this time could support you in becoming aware of your environment and life situations. Water is a primal source and is said to be meeting place of heaven and earth. Choosing hippopotamus may be a signal to submerge yourself in water. Wash away all that is unserving and heighten your personal awareness. Be humbled by the power of water by spending time in an aquatic location. So, the number three, which is all about creativity, uh, communication, and joy. So, water helps the creative process. Drink lots of water, be around water, take a, salt, a sea salt bath. Okay, then we got hit at night and gratitude. Uh, Botswana agate. So here I'm seeing the earth star chakra and the root chakra. So we're working on the earth star and the root chakra, grounding ourselves into nature. It's the number five. So I'm seeing adventure, freedom, but transformation. So I was seeing transformation with the shapeshifter. I'm seeing transformation again. I'm seeing gratitude. I'm seeing finally stepping into that attitude of gratitude, hidden night. And what is hidden is now being shown. 
And I love Botswana is breathe. Um, so our lungs, uh, they, they carry one of the chemical compounds in our lungs when we breathe that comes up with uh, mindful breathing is DMT. Uh, so DMT is, I'm not sure if you know what DMT is, uh, you know, it's kind of like mushrooms or LSD. Uh, it's more natural. It's what's secreted out of our pineal gland. It is what gives us our visions, what gives us our, you know, uh, what allows us to see. And it's interesting the Amazon is on fire right now. And a lot of the trees there is what they use for ayahuasca. And so that's all burning. So... It's like they're burning the mother medicine. There's always deeper meanings for why things are happening. And um, unfortunately, there is a deeper meaning for that one. But I actually uh, wasn't going to read Breathe, but I feel like I'm guided to just give, see what the animal is for the Botswana agate. It's a zebra. Very cool. Uh, zebras are full of opportunities. And your number four, your um, attitude number is four. Your attitude is your birthday and your, um, your, the month and the day added together. And it's 22, which is four. So, and that's the zebra opportunities. So that's very cool that it's also came through here. It's time to allow a problem that has taken up all your time to find its solution. Doors are opening that have been closed for too long. Be sure to walk through them. So yes, I'm seeing the a doorway. Uh, so I saw a lot of 11 and 11 here. So the doorway is opening. We have to walk through the doorway and some people are scared of the rebirth process because they don't know what's, you know, they're scared to go through it. They're scared of dying. Um, and it's not actual death. It's a metaphorical death, but it may feel like dying to many. So they do. It is very scary at times. But Botswana agate is also about addiction. So at the physical level, uh, the need for Botswana agate often manifests itself as addictions lung and breathing problems and skin issues so i'm seeing like smoking marijuana like some people um even though some people say it's good for you um the actual smoking process of vaping uh, is not really good for you it really clogs the the lungs and doesn't allow for the secretion of the dmt in your lungs uh so smoking flour uh in moderation is great sure um, but the benefits of the cannabis, I would say, would come from the cannabinoids. So I'd say eating the cannabis would be probably better than smoking or um, vaping. So I don't know why that came through. I don't even know if you smoke or maybe the masculine energies, the male, feminine, whatever. This masculine energy smokes. Um, yeah, okay, so that's that. And then we got Hiddenite, which is gratitude. I'm actually guided to read that one as well. And it's only just a little little footnote. So it says, gratitude is the key to receiving. So being grateful, opening the heart, assists in dissolving any judgments about your life. So I'm seeing forgiveness here and gratitude. So forgiving those that have hurt you. Because a lot of the nines, they, they really went through a hard time in their life. Um, and this is about forgiving all those people that hurt you because they were all part of the process. It's almost like you cast a play, right? Well, like let's, let's take my, uh, you know, soap operas, my Chinese soap opera that I watch, my Korean soap opera. Um, I'm watching it and sometimes I get so angry at the characters without realizing, oh, God, Marcy, they're playing a role. So the writers are who who are so good and the actors are so good at playing their role that they get you so angry and then I, I i go into a space of gratitude and being thankful for these writers and these actors can, that can make me elicit such emotion out of me so this is saying be grateful for those people because acknowledge them acknowledge the beautiful things acknowledge all that Expre expand your gratitude it's um i think it's a beautiful thing Okay, then we go to forgiveness. So I'm seeing third eye chakra. So look at this, a uh, lot of purple here and a lot of blue. So I'm seeing green, I'm seeing purple, I'm seeing all the colors really. But the third eye and I'm seeing the rhino, you know, the rhino, I put, it, it came through in my last twin flame reading, uh, the having thick skin. And I was just talking to you about the thick skin um, of of your challenge, the two challenge of not caring what other people think about you because the, the, the rhino has these magical horns that people are always trying to, to poach. They're always trying to poach his horns because they're magical. 
And this also reminds me of Where the Wild Things Are. Remember, if you've ever seen that movie, it's a beautiful, beautiful movie. The book is great. But people are going to want you because you are magical. They want your horns. They will be jealous. They'll be whatever. But let it go. That's, you know. And so forgiveness. Forgive them. Forgive. What is that? That Bible verse? Forgive not what they know, what they don't do or something like that. So Rhonda Rhino, Amethyst from Amethyst. Amethyst protects us from toxic situations. So I'm seeing, yes, toxicity. I'm seeing addictions. Uh, this card indicates healing and allowing yourself to return to the natural state of peace uh, once again. Remember, we never forgive others. We only forgive ourselves for loving others who betrayed us. This is a time for personal evolution. And I noticed that you had the two numbers that I forgot to leave out here were... Um, the one in five, you know, depending on the letters that are prominent in your, in your name. So the number one in five, one is all about independent leadership, um, independence and leadership. Uh, you don't, it's, you don't like people telling you what to do. Uh, so we need to work with others and five is addictions. Fives are prone to addiction. So you can be prone to addictive tendencies, whether this is, uh, you know, food, alcohol, drugs, social media, anything that's not of moderation is an addictive tendency. Okay, then we've got, I love it, number 11, Bring It On, and reminds me of the movie, it's already been brought in. So 11, Master Number of Intuition. Um, it's also the Awakening Number. 1111 is the door, is the gateway, it's the Awakening Number. And... And it says, um, you are brave and fearless these days, even if it doesn't feel that way. You're being called to take off your armor, yes, and leap. Yes, leaping came through down here as well. Today is the call, is to, today is the day to call fear out as the wimpy imposter that it is. It's time to go for it. So it's time. It's time to forgive others. It's time to begin this journey, to shape shift, to be reborn. And we'll get to the soulmates in a minute, but Isis came through as well. I face challenges with common strength, so whatever challenges are coming through. So, okay, so we got number 16, rebirth. So immediately I'm seeing the communication, letting go of the fear, uh, letting go of the fear of communication is what I'm getting here. So we're going to be reborn now. And I'm seeing the root chakra, which is addictions as well. So, you know, letting go of the fear of living, um, and yeah, so seven is spirituality. So I'm seeing being reborn in this new spiritual energy, this new love energy. So communicating love, communicating what you're passionate about is what I'm seeing with this one. And 16 might be, um, might mean something because I think this is 16 as well, if I'm not mistaken. So look, it's right on the cover of my book too. It's very cool. So yeah, so 1616. 1616. So we got keep here. And this also looks like a, a doorway, like a gate or like a window. And we got the staff of wisdom here, right? It's beautiful staff. Um, and this is all about cosmic consciousness. So the gold Christ consciousness. So we got a lot of gold right here. She's even got the gold heart over there. We got the sun over here. And the flower is the kala lily. So the owl, the staff, the staff of wisdom. So, you know, when somebody who's very wise, they hold a staff of wisdom. Um, this is a lacking trust in your inner knowing, your ability to feel and act on guidance from spirit. So this is telling you to establish your divine connection. Become a direct conduit for spirit. Yes, so I was seeing water. Water is a conduit for spirit. So drink lots of water. Um, trust your, in your mystical intelligence. Attune yourself to the clear signals from your inner guidance. So Radiohead, tuning in, tuning into yourself. So that's amazing that that came through as well. And I'm seeing this beautiful uh, sun behind it. So over there, we've got a sun, and over here, we've got a sun. So we're, that's mirroring the masculine energy. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on. To Isis. So number 38, which is also 11. So we got 11, 11, the gateway here. Uh, illuminated Master Isis was Ma-Ra in Lemuria. 
Isis, the high priestess of Atlantis, mother of Horus in Egypt, and Mary, mother of Jesus, she was always, holy cow, mother of Horus and Mary, mother of Jesus. So she is the Mary, mother of Jesus. That came through in my last reading. And it's a, she looks, this, I always see her as Mother Mary. So we've got two Mother Marys here. She was always overlit by the universal angel Mary, who helped Isis pass her initiation and ascend in each lifetime. The card reminds you of the power of the feminine. Face your challenges with equanimity and courage, knowing you are helped by angels. Keep your light bright and your energy pure, no matter what, and this will enable you to influence many on their ascension path. Remember, there is a greater plan. Oh my God. So I was talking to you about leadership because leadership is down here. And this is saying to tap into that wisdom, tap into, you know, your creative side, your intuitive side, because this is what's going to, this is leading you to your ascension path. You are on the ladder of ascension and this is going to help you with uh, your, not only your ascension path, but lighting the way. I'm seeing like the Michael Jackson video, Billy Jean, where he's walking on the sidewalk and every time he walks, it lights up. It's like, bing, 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 bing. Bing. And every time he walks, he lights up the floor. I'm seeing, and, it, and it, as it's lighting up, you're lighting up the path for others to follow their way out of the dark. But it's like a trail. It only stays lit for a little while, right? So only the people that are this close to the ascension can see your light. And then they light up their path, and then they are the light. And it's like a little train, a little trolley that guides people through. Okay. And then we're moving on to the final ones here. We got calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualization, visualizations help bring you together. So I was talking about that over here, visualizing it, fantasizing about it. That song by 21 Pilots. Fantasize about it. Visualize it. And the card that came through was soulmate. What, I, oh my God. I, was, I almost wish that this was one of my readings on YouTube, but so awesome. Um, your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So like I was saying earlier, they're already in your heart. That came through with the heart stuff earlier. They're already there. They're there spiritually. Like they are there. Whether they are there physically, I'm not sure because I don't know your situation. But I'm seeing that they're already there. So I don't know. I'm just sensing that the energy is there. And I love this. Look at it. It looks like the big, it looks like the sun right there. It looks like they're standing in front of a sun. It's like their shadow, but there's light behind them. Their shadow side. They're showing the people the shadow side. The shadow side is the side that you never showed people before. And now they're seeing the shadow side. And that's actually quite beautiful. Okay. So now we're going to move to the feminine energy. We've got the sun. I love this. So immediately when I saw this, I thought of the pineal gland as we were discussing the pineal gland. Because the pineal gland, when you get vitamin D, it helps your, your, the pineal gland secrete the DMT. So that came through. Um, I'm also seeing golden opportunities with that. And let's see. So know that doors are opening for you. So I was seeing the gateway over here, a door. I kept seeing a door up here. And it's mirroring. Uh, follow up new projects, ventures, and ideas. Connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward. So whatever this inner flame, this twin flame, this, it drives you forward. It helps you move forward. You're being surrounded by the brightness of the sun at this time. Opportunities to feel and be successful are swirling and dancing around you. You, feel happy, you will feel happy and uplifted. Solar energy brings health and vitality and can energize and warm. It encourages everything to grow. So this is asking you to... to if you want to bring something to life or are ready to take a new step in a relationship, the sun will bring the right energy to you. So that's calling in the soulmate. This is like mirroring. It's a beautiful, and I'm seeing a second sun here. I always see the second sun ascending, solar flare. I'm seeing this like solar flare energy coming, coming down, coming through. Okay. Moving on to Sar Sarasvati Arts. Express yourself through creative activities. So I'm... You know, I, I'm seeing the swan there, which always represents the twin flame, being an ugly duckling. And now you are this beautiful swan that's able to show people. Because look at her foot. Her foot is stepping on the lotus power. It's not actually stepping on it. I feel like she just came out of that lotus flower. So she is what came out of the lotus flower. She went through a tremendous amount of darkness to become this amazing Sarasvati, who is very creative. And 
beautiful with more sun. So a lot of sun energy coming through. And um, so Sarasvati, uh, you're, a, you're a limitless being. If it seems that you have time, it seems that you have time, money, or other restrictions, it's simply because your mind is focused upon the material world. So you can uh, unlimit yourself by lifting the cloak off the material world. So I was seeing a cloak in my last reading, and she's got a cloak here as well. So a cloak, lifting the cloak off the material world from your focus. Music is essential for the expression of non-material ideals and energies. Music colors our surroundings with emanations from the highest vibrational field. It allows us to escape all limitations in our thinking and very existence. Surround yourself in music and allow it to stimulate your creative thinking and spark new ideas. So I'm seeing um, binaural beats. I'm seeing, uh, you know, doing this, what I do with the shuffle, the music to get a message from, mus from uh, the universe. So this is saying to play music, sing, dance, draw, paint, write, do something creative. You could even change your career if it gives you freedom to be creative freedom. You know, take a creative class and a creative hobby. Um, keep a journal to write your ideas. Join a writing club. Okay, so then we move on to the chameleon. And anytime I see the chameleon, this is also transformation, like what's coming up here, the same kind of energy. So I'm seeing the mirroring. Um, I'm seeing the butterfly, the transformation. I'm seeing the tree coming through because I'm seeing a tree over here as well. So trees, the trees connecting. Um, and being able to, to, the arts, being able to be a chameleon, being able to be everything and everyone. And look, at we got more painting and arts here. Um, and it's the number 12, which is your number. So the chameleon is the awakening card. So I'm seeing Kundalini awakening here. The rainbow energy, uh, your intuitive senses are heightened at this time and you have the ability to hear and feel more than others. This awakening gives you access to other realms and allows you to see the world from four distinct viewpoints, from great spirit above, mother earth below, and the soul within, and the universe that surrounds you. If you find yourself not understanding a decision, person, or situation, call on chameleon to bring you clarity. Today you can renew your spirit and be open to expand perspective by turning your heart toward the sun and listening to the whispers within. The sun. The sun, you are the rainbow energy that is teaching new generations to live in a higher vibration. This awakened energy represents a positive influence on the world. Amazing. The sun. So I'm seeing that you need to go out into the sun. I'm seeing sun gazing. And I don't mean look directly at the sun, but like during, um, you know, a sunset, look below the sun. Like not directly at it, but below it. And that way your eyes absorb the 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 solar rays. Okay, and then we got emerald tablets so immediately here. I'm seeing a lot of Egyptian energy because we got, not only do we got Isis, we got the Sphinx, but we got Orion. And I'm seeing emerald, the emerald tablets. Uh, so if you haven't read the emerald tablets, you can easily Google, they have them online. There's only 13 pages, um, only 13 tablets. And there's a couple of hidden ones that, that might be out, I'm not sure. But emerald, so this is also heart healing. So I'm seeing the gratitude here, so uh, heart connection. So um, compassion, having compassion for others, yourself. Uh, how I was saying, having uh, compassion for others on their journey because they're just doing the best they can with the tools they have. You know, we tend to have more tools than they do. So that's why we maybe sometimes get impatient with them because we're expecting them to, to operate the way we do when they can't because they don't have those tools yet. That's like telling a child that as born, I want you to start walking now. They don't know how to walk yet. Uh, so this is about being compassionate towards them because they're not there yet. And even if they might get there in this lifetime, they might not, that's not our problem. But our pro uh, we, it is our, uh, what's the word? I can't even think of the word right now. Our obligation to be compassionate. Not obligation, but like, kind of like obligation. It's our duty. It's our duty to be compassionate. <laughs> duty, duty, doo doo. Um, so we've got eye light here, which is vision. And so this is the number nine, your life path. I'm seeing the third eye. Definitely, you're having visions. Like I was saying earlier, that you're probably getting flashes, almost like a puzzle piece here and there, of like things and flashes of things and a lot of dream stuff as well. Um, 
but this is vision. And so eyelight is a great crystal. And I wasn't going to read eyelight, but I'm going to read eyelight. And this talks about, um, you know, clairvoyance, psychic intuitive abilities, activating your vision, dreams realized. So dreams coming true. So we got dreams, a lot of dream stuff. Um, third eye chakra, foresight. So seeing things before they happen. Some might call that instant manifestation. Uh, it's kind of both. I always say, is it instant manifestation or did I actually see that coming? Uh, it's up to you to figure out how that is for you. More addiction. So this is also about addiction. So I'm seeing addiction. Um, illness caused by overuse of drugs. I'm seeing liver. So some sort of liver problem here. Um, so this is, talks about detoxifying your liver. It's also powerful for migraine headaches. And this is also marijuana. This even says it in the book. Overuse of marijuana. Um, yeah, that was interesting. And it's also able to balance the male and female sides of expression. So balancing the masculine and the feminine side. Very cool. Okay, so then we got the workaholic here. And look at it. It looks like a blueberry... Or a bowling ball, but I'm seeing blue, so communication again. But he's painting. Look at the, all these art projects. He's got and his rainbow color, so I'm seeing a lot of rainbow. She's got rainbow here as well. A lot of rainbow energy. I'm seeing uh, orange and blue here, so communicating creatively, what you're passionate about. A lot of blue. Look at it, masculine and feminine both got the same card. The, which I call it the under the water pool, so you guys have both gone deep under the pool under the water the initiation of the egyptian initiation where they climb they they go through the cavern of the egyptian cavern to get to the other side and there's crocodiles in there and they have to be fearless and go through the pit of crocodiles to get to the other side and that's the initiation uh everything you want is on the other side of fear so workaholic is blue which is the throat chakra so we're working whereas the masculine is working on the third eye chakra the feminine is working on her communication um, communicating what she sees because uh, uh, you got vision here. So, Brad Blueberry. Here, the earthy brown of creation mixes with inspirational violet. This card indicates one of the most powerful manifesting energies. Now you are very prolific. If what, uh, if what you are creating stalls, you may need to recharge. Know your limits. So, I'm seeing you're, you've got all these creative ideas. It's a matter of getting them out. So, if you're not getting them out, you're going to feel stuck. So let these ideas flow. Okay. I actually want to see what the little blueberry card over here says. Fun friends. Uh, feelings of inadequacy. Transformation is indicated. Not being fulfilled by the current work that you're doing. Um, yeah. Working too much and suffering from a burnout. So this is saying, look at how... You know, we got the fresh blueberry who's painting and we got the other one who didn't get a chance to paint and he's already old. So he didn't get a chance to even create. He wishes that he can be this young blueberry again. So this is saying like, create, do the things that you want to do. What did you come to earth to do? Do it. Okay, now we've got right side up. Got a little bit dark now. Cloud flew through. Um, so number one, this is a new beginning. So I'm seeing a new beginning. And it is now safe to unbuckle your seatbelt. Doesn't matter how it looks, you're on the right path. Unseen forces are working behind the scenes, smoothing out the bumps, righting all the injustices. Any apparent blip is nothing but a reminder to pay attention, to say thank you. The scales are tipping in your favor. Everything is coming back into balance. It's time to trust that what goes down must come up. So if everything was like upside down for a long time, it's now going to be right side up. Okay, and we got self-love. So you've been working on self-love, loving yourself. And it's the number seven. So look at it's mirroring the masculine. 61, 16. 16, 61, 16, 16, 61. Look at that. It's like they're kissing. Like if you make them kiss. <laughs> so, oops. Um, so you guys are mirroring each other in this aspect, which is super awesome. You're he's being reborn and you are finally loving, learning to love yourself. Uh, you're going inward to understand yourself on a deeper level, to understand your gifts and your talents. Um, you're seeing your truth. You're, you're seeing the truth of your divinity and who you are and how amazing you are. It's time because you want this soulmate relationship, but you got to love yourself first. 
I know everybody always says that, but it's absolutely true. You will attract what you are in that sense. And I'm not saying everybody says you're going to attract what you are. Um, you know, I've for a long time, I attracted people that were not me. So, but it's energetically what you are. So if you are a person who doesn't love themselves, you're probably going to find somebody who has a hard time loving themselves. If you're a jealous person, you're probably going to find yourself with somebody who's a little bit jealous. So it's all about working on yourself and loving yourself. And then you attract the kind of love that you are. Okay. So number seven. So we got seven, 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 nine. We got 99 here, 99 here. Okay. So we're moving on to polarity. Number two, and this also talks about the self-love as well. So two dots. It looks like a little vampire bite. Polarity. I'm seeing a little polar bear. So bipolar. Maybe dealing with people that are bipolar. Um, it says, look in the mirror. Who faces you on the other side? Yes, I was saying a lot of mirroring. Um, sacred twins. Polarity of male and female. So this is the sacred twin. The clear reflection, all things in relationships, polarity, so good and bad, you know. Polarity reveals your conflict, struggles, and the apparent separation created by your beliefs and duality. So believing in good or bad, you know, black, white. Um, it's about, about stepping away from that. Polarized positions actually work in cooperative alliance. In cooperation, all polarities serve as backgrounds for full appreciation of one another at the whole. Also examine the polarity of male and female within yourself. Explore your divine feminine and masculine aspects. Look for the gifts within your relationship. Investigate the polarities within them. And explore the natural lines of force and growth they create. Remember, polarity is the pulse of the universal source. What goes up must come down, etc. Okay. Moving on to the Sphinx. So I was seeing cats earlier. So what's this? The cat. The Sphinx is a cat. Number 20. So we got 2-2. Two, two. 22 right here. Amazing synchronicity. The Sphinx energy has always been on Earth and watches over us. The high priest Ra brought it from Atlantis and placed it within the statue of the Sphinx in Egypt. You receive a charge of God force when you think about it. So relax and accept it now. The Sphinx contains the fifth dimensional records for Earth and the information within the crystal skulls. You are invited to visit the tunnel from the Sphinx to hollow Earth, a portal of wisdom linked to the ascended aspect of Mars. From here, you can radiate peace and oneness throughout the universe. And the affirmation is, I connect to the God force within the Sphinx. So the Sphinx, we got Isis, we got Orion. Uh, they say that... Um, that Orion and the Sphinx, the the connection between all the pyramids, they shoot up to the sky and it, it hits Orion. And here we've got getting to know each other. So, um, yeah, the masculine is very grateful. I don't know why I had to say that. They're grateful for forgiveness. Anywho. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, the truth. This was popping up. If a person is not, if, you, if you're not able to tell your truth to a person, then that's not the person for you. Because you're withholding, you're keeping secrets. And a person is going to love you unconditionally, no matter your secrets, no matter what. And then we got this one. It says, don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do. For it is only in being true to yourself that you can be true to others. So I saw red flags down here. So I'm saying relationships that you need to let go of, don't be, feel guilty about letting them go. Trust your intuition. Trust your heart. It'll, it, it will always lead you in the right direction. Okay, now we move on to the final card. Right. One of my favorite cards. I think it's uh, one of my favorite cards in the deck. The Heart Guardian. Love and let yourself be loved. And I always see the ring. She's got a, a, a middle finger of, on her ring. So used to, she used to say, fuck you to love. Like, fuck love. I don't want to deal with it. Ah, I don't, you know, I'm just going to get hurt. And now to say no, let yourself love and be loved because the Heart Guardian is here. And the Heart Guardian always has good things to say. 
Welcome with open arms, opportunities to give and receive love. You are love, lovable, and loving. So this is the union energy. This is both the, both of you are, are working on right here. Um, the energy of love is surrounding your whole world at this time. Angels are swirling around you, encouraging you to open your heart and reveal the blessings that you have to offer. They want you to know that you are a highly loving being who deserves to give and receive love. If you're finding it challenging to feel love at this time, it's important for you to give yourself credit where it's due. You are also encouraged to welcome support from others. Learn to receive. Don't try and do everything on your own. If you are working on a relationship or in a new relationship, this card can usher in energies that allow you to forge a powerful connection with your partner. Love is in the air. I love that. And how I was telling you earlier, the, the one, your, um, one of your numbers was the one that was saying, I don't like people telling me what to do. I don't. I want to do everything by myself. Just saying, let other people help you. Because the, the one energy is like, let people help you. And I love it. The rose is always the twin flame number. And we got the twin flame. This is the twin flame card to me. And then we got the civet is number 17, the twin flame card, the twin flame number again. So very cool synchronicity. And look at one, seven, 17. Whichever way you look at it, 17 is here. The twin flame number is here. Okay, and then we've got Irene, peace. So we see the dolphins swimming in the back. So dolphins have a deep significance. They are very intuitive. They come from Lemuria. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. Um, I'm seeing the purple. She's got grapes. So I'm seeing Greece here again. I, I bet you, I wonder if she's from Greece. Probably not, but let's look anyway. Yeah, she's the Greek goddess. Oh my God, so Greece here. Uh, Irene, a Greek goddess whose sisters include the goddess of lawfulness. Irene helps us replace worry with faith. She also reminds us to retain our childlike awe and enthusiasm. So yes, be childlike. See how she's holding the baby? Uh, this is a, a rainbow baby. This is one of those babies that is very intuitive. The rainbow children being reborn. So maybe you need to be reborn into this like baby that's childlike and, you know, sees the deeper things. And I'm seeing a lot of water here. So we saw the water up here, water here, lots of water. So I'm seeing going out near water. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. And this also talks about taking a sea salt bath. And this talked about taking a sea salt bath. So take a sea salt bath. Um, and it talks about music, dance, sing, music, get in, tap into your childlike nature. Beautiful. And it's blue, so communication communicating what you see, your vision. So third eye chakra, uh, communicating what you see. And I'm seeing clear, clear in your third eye chakra as well. So I'm seeing drinking, um, what is it? Kale, uh, eating kale. Uh, cilantro is good for that as well. Detoxing the pineal gland. Okay, and then we got civet, very playful. These two, all these three are very playful cards. And they all talk about being playful. And I've seen like these, these feathers, almost like a peacock, peacock feathers. Um, and it's the number 17. So number eight, the number of power, stepping into your power, being playful, to the many masks that you wear. So this over here, the chameleon is almost similar to this because they both wear a million different masks. They can transform and change. The shapeshifter, look at all three of them have this shapeshifter card. These are the three shapeshifter cards. So shapeshifters, I'm seeing like, you know, how vampires transform into bats and werewolves and, you know, all that stuff. So civet is mystery and it's time to dabble in your wild, mysterious nature and the creative spirit of the many masks you wear. So what would you like to explore today? This is telling you to explore it, you know, even sexually, uh, however, however that resonates for you. Okay. Um, and I'm seeing a lot of spots here. So if that means anything to you, but see if it's a cat, so cats. Okay, moving on to, we've got Herkimer Diamond, which I used in my last video, and Kyanite. Kyanite's all about letting go of old relationships. So I'm seeing that there was a letting go. And, but this is alignment. Alignment to me is when you start seeing the synchronicities, the 111, the 222, the 333, the manifesting, everything is in alignment. So I'm seeing a lot of alignment happening right now. So Kyanite. So 
So the animal kyanite is a crow. So I'm seeing crows, so blackbirds. Um, and this is a, let's see. So alignment, the higher chakras. So the crown chakra, the soul star chakra, the throat chakra, uh, star seeds, star children. So I'm seeing star seeds. I'm seeing um, more Egyptian stuff. Very cool. So this is telling you to take a risk. Master Kuthumi. Okay, and then we got Herkimer Diamond, which I used in my video yesterday. So Soul Star Chakra. I'm seeing Soul Star Chakra energy. Leap in love. I'm seeing love here. Taken. So this tells you to take a leap into love. That was there was leaping happening up here. This one and this this one's talking about leaping into love, and this is leaping into love. Take a leap into love. Lots of leaping, <laughs> lots of leaping, leaping lizards. Lots of leaping going on. Um, so Herkimer Diamond. Oops, I thought I, I guess I lost the page. So this is a heart and crown chakra and soul star chakra. So allows you to shine in your totality and magnificence, activates inspiration and new ideas. So, and the dreams allows you to release and let go of old stale emotions. So write a dream journal, get a dream journal. You also receive messages, signs, and symbols that bring insight into your life. So uh, Herkimer Diamond under your pillow will really help you with that. It's actually one of the, t the toughest minerals on earth. It's, uh, it's the same as a diamond, like a regular diamond. Okay. And I'm also seeing diamond energy. Like in order to um, be a diamond, you have to go through a tremendous amount of pressure and fire. And I think I saw that up here as well, how I was saying, you know, uh, or it, with the song, how you have to go through the earth and you have to go through the magma and then it shoots out the other end. That's like a diamond. A diamond shoots out of the volcano. It had to be, it was a lump of coal that was put under a tremendous amount of pressure. And then it shot out, it gets shot out by the volcano when it's ready. So we're being shot out by the volcano because look it, it looks like it's being shot out. So I'm seeing volcanoes, shooting volcanoes. Grease, shooting volcanoes. Sparks, grease fire. Um, okay, so we got Miracle, which is yellow, which is the... Um, the solar plexus chakra, so the willpower to move forward, how I was seeing addictions here. So this is a, a, the, the solar plexus is what we work on with, for addictions. Um, and this is the sun sparkler. So I'm seeing more sun, a lot of sun here. Uh, the brightest of all the thoughts resides in the sun. It resides in sun yellow. As natural radiance stems from pure integrity, be honest and forthright no matter what. With the energy of the sun, a miracle awaits. You instinctively know what is authentic. Trust this. Okay, so more telling the truth. Integrity is what turns on the light. So being truthful allows you to shine brighter and more truthful. Um, do not let someone in or do you, uh, do you let someone in or do you pretend not to see them? So this also says, do you pretend to be someone you're not to impress people? So this is saying to let, don't, Maybe they're doing it or you're doing it, but you don't need to do that because you are this amazing diamond. You are a light being. So integrity brings rewards. So whenever we're, we're authentic in how we communicate, it brings rewards. I love this card. I'm seeing the tree stump. So, you know, when you look at the tree stump, it's got all these, the, the rings around it. So I'm seeing rings. I saw rings over here. So I'm seeing rings. Rings. And it just shows you just how long, how many lifetimes they've had together. So whenever I see, and look at this divine feminine is coming out of the fire. She's like being transformed. She's the diamond shooting out. She's the divine, divine feminine energy is rising. Both of you are in your divine feminine energy. And then we got leaping in love. I love this. Another ring. Look, it even looks like a ring. A little tiny ring. So number seven, again, so truth. This was talking about truth. So you're being truthful with each other. Uh, you're both being truth. Both meditating. Both being spiritual. Going in your spiritual journey. So it says leaping in love. Romeo and Juliet. 
Bogey and Bacall, they've got nothing on you. It's romance time, whether it's a new partner or falling more deeply in love with your own life. Become, become besotted with your dreams. Act as if it has already happened. Everything, as they say, is coming up roses. Only this time without the thorns. Ah, oh, look at that. Roses. Look at this big rose. And she's holding on to it because it doesn't have thorns. So awesome. I'm like so excited for your reading. I wish I could share this with everybody. Oh, I love it. Okay, and now we're going to leadership. Oh, I love that card. And it's rainbow, more rainbow colors. So we've seen the, the blues, the magenta, the red, the yellow, the orange, the rainbow. And then here we got the pink, the higher heart chakra, and the red, passion, love. So leadership, doing what you love, inspiring. You're, you're both stepping into this, in, this leadership role of showing the way for others to follow, being your creative selves and, and showing people how to live authentically. Uh, so we got the eight and the one, which is bringing money. So I'm seeing money coming in. And it's the number nine, so humanitarianism. So being humanitarians, leadership. And then over here, we've got another 18. I'm going to read this one first, though. Resolution of duality. So we got another sun or moon. It looks like it looks like a, a, an eclipse. And so we've got the feminine energy here. So the sun and the feminine energy. How, oh, we've seen feminine energy over here. Feminine rising. I'm seeing feminine rising. And um, so resolution of duality, which is interesting because we've got polarity over here. So mass consciousness, personal resolution. Now is the time for you to confront directly the illusion of separation. So you are not separated. This is like telling you, it's ta stop thinking about things as in like they're not there, which they are there. Duality is simply, simply perception. In receiving this lens, you're being challenged to work with your belief systems, collective issues, and thought forms to see why they, where they appear to limit you. Your very complexity and rigidity invite new processes that open you to simplicity, expansion, and change. You will feel this energy working in any area of your life that has become too complicated or inflexible. Since your own personal issues are connected to mass consciousness, you also contribute to the transformation of the whole. You are the resolution of duality. This lens asks you to look at reality from the perspective of the gift that is inherent in duality. So, beautiful. So, even though it's left, even though it's up and down or left and right, or even though it's black and white, it's like the yin-yang symbol. Even though it's separate, it's still part of the one. Even though it looks separate, it's the illusion. They're actually part of the one, like oil and vinegar. Even though it looks like it's separate, it's actually one. So you are you are connected spiritually. Um, Orion, number eighteen. Once again, number nine. The great masters of Orion invite you to visit Orion in meditation or sleep to receive a download of cosmic wisdom. This is an honor, so prepare yourself with intention. So I saw dreams over here. Invite you to visit in meditation or sleep to receive downloads of cosmic wisdom. This is an honor, so prepare yourself with intention during the day by showering, lighting a candle, playing sacred music, or walking in nature. Then you will receive much spiritual light. Orion is the soul star chakra of the universe. You may find it helpful to ask Archangel Mariel to light up your personal soul star chakra, which is above your head, to facilitate your connection. I honor the masters of Orion and visit them in my sleep. Amazing. Have we, I've been talking about soul star chakra this whole reading. Very cool. Okay, and then we're finally moving on to the last cards. So immediately I got pay attention to the red flags. And I'm seeing, look at this Asian car. I was seeing like Asian stuff up here for some reason. Uh, but he's, it's like, you know, in Japan when, when they're working on the rice paddies and they wear those veils, those hats with the veil. Um... So it says the signs are cautioning you. So pay attention to the red flags. So you're both paying attention to the red flags. You're both able to see people's intentions. You're both looking at things and seeing like how I was saying you're both being able to see the truth about people's bullshit. Um, you're, you're able to do that. You're paying attention to what's in between when people are talking, uh, using your third eye to discern whether they're lying to you or not. So you're both paying attention uh, to the red flags. And then it says the two, the two cards that came out was... Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. That came through with leaping in love, miracles, and the heart guardian. And it's a tree. 
Look at that. She's kissing the tree. It's so beautiful. And then we got this beautiful one, which it's got the snake. How I saw the snakes. The snake on her head, the snake on his head. So the Kundalini awakening. So I'm seeing an awakening happening here. And it says power. You instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. Yeah, so I was seeing healthy boundaries. Being able to say no to others and say, hey, no, uh, sorry. Uh, you don't even have to say sorry. You just don't even have to give an explanation, really. Um, but it's stepping into your power. Very cool. Okay, so that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Um, I'll probably keep this reading up for... Uh, usually I delete them um, after about a month but we'll see I might just keep it up if you if you want me to keep it up I'll keep it up okay so that is all thank you so much have an amazing day